When you need to make notes or mark up your plans, you can use the Annotations toolbar. The Annotations toolbar is at the top of the image window and is home to a variety of tools, including dimension lines, markups, and hot links, which can provide a shortcut to other pages in your plan set. Let's start with the dimension tool. It can be used to get quick measurements to verify scale or find the length of objects in the drawings. Before you can use the dimension tool, you must first set the scale on your sheet. For more information on how to set your scale, please review the training video on setting scale. Once your scale is set, you can then select the dimension tool. Then, just simply click and drag a straight line on your image to verify your measurement. You can also use the dimension tool when trying to find the size of an object on your drawing, such as the height of a wall within a section detail or elevation. To leave notations on your plans for things like requests for information, you can use the text tool. Select the text tool button, and then click and drag a text box where you want the text to appear on the image. Then begin entering your text. Once you've clicked out of the text box, a text format window then displays, which allows you to edit the font, size, and color. You can also make the text bold, italicized, or underlined. Last, you can also alter the justification of the text. Once you've finalized your changes, you can close the text format window. To highlight sections of the screen, you can use the Highlighter tool. This is useful to call out sections of a floor plan where changes are coming or where you have questions, or to highlight text you previously added for emphasis. To add a highlight, find the Highlight button and first select the down arrow to the right of it to select a color. Once you've selected the color, now you must click and drag a box on the image where you want the highlight to display. Note that you can only draw rectangular shapes with the highlight tool. You can also draw on your plans without adding a condition or measuring takeoff using the shape tools within the annotations toolbar. Your shape tools include the callout, arrow, line, rectangle, oval, polygon, cloud, and ink tools. Each tool has its own drop-down list where you can choose a desired color and line width. The callout tool is used to direct attention to the specified area you're making a note about. Start by clicking on the spot where you want the arrow to point, and then drag your text box to wherever you'd like it to be. Then add and edit text within the callout in the same manner as with the text box tool. You can use the arrow tool to draw an arrow to a spot where you want to draw attention. Select the arrow button, and then click the starting point of the arrow. Now drag the line, and then let go of the mouse at the ending point of the arrow. The straight line, rectangle, and oval tools all use a similar click and drag motion. Once drawn on the image, the shapes can be moved using the four-way arrow, or resized using the grip points that show up when you select the object. The polygon and cloud tools are self-defining shapes that allow you to click point to point and then double click to finish. The spaces in between your points are filled in with straight lines when using the polygon tool or a cloud shape when using the cloud tool. The last drawing tool on the annotation toolbar is the ink tool, also sometimes referred to as the freehand drawing tool. This tool allows you to draw whatever you want by holding down the left mouse button and dragging your shape. The last two tools on the annotation toolbar Hot Link and Named View work together to create shortcuts to bookmarked pages within your plan set. To see a more detailed look at Hot Links and Named Views, watch the Named Views and Hot Links video in the training video library. Please also note that all objects that are drawn using the buttons within the Annotations toolbar are placed in the Annotations layer on the Image tab. For more information about layers, watch the Layers video in the training video library.